All right, holy shit. So anyway, let's get this off. More light. Holy water, I got a holy water, sweet. Alright, what am I supposed to be doing here anyway? I need to go to the next room, don't I? Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to be doing, going to the next room. Let's just do this. Fuck that big guy. Oh god. I almost made it through the door. <laughs> I tried to do the somersault, didn't work. in the corner here? Nope. Break everything! Destroy all of Dracula's belongings! <laughs> Be an asshole! I'm just fucking smashing everything. Punch that shit right to the next fucking room. <laughs> Punch that shit so hard. There you go. Ta-da! I still didn't open this door though. How do you open this door? I guess you don't. It's a fake. It's not a real door. <gasps> Magic is required to activate this rune. that do? Oh, there's another rune in here. Oh, there's three more runes. What?
know, these two are chaos out here. And what are the other two? They have to be life, right? Yep. Question is, how the fuck do I get all the way up there to get that item? Uh oh, what's going on? Uh oh. That must be nastier vampires are gonna come out or something. Yep, here they are. Yeah, fuck you. Walk right by your ass. What the hell? The door didn't open. The gate opened, but not the door. Stop attacking him because there's a cutscene. The hell's going on in here? Hello. Have you come to play? Uh oh. Holy shit. The board is ready for you. It's Christina Ricci. Do you like it? What is this fucking for? chess? Don't you want to play? I'm here for the Dark Lord. I'll tell you where she is, if you play my game. It's probably her. Mother doesn't like visitors. Cut. But I'll show you where she is, if you play. I don't have time for your games. I must find her now. Mm. Then I won't help you. Fine. <laughs> you won't ever Shovering. find her. <laughs> Only I know the secret way. I'll let you make the first move. Vampire War Game. This is a board game similar to chess for two players. The objective of the game is to annihilate all the pieces of the opponent. During each turn, players determine which pieces can be moved using a spinning wheel. When they lose two pieces, they will be granted a second spin per turn. After losing another two, they will receive a third spin. All pieces can move to an empty square or attack an adjacent enemy piece during a turn. Apart from having different statistics, each piece has an extra power. Lycanthropes can move two squares instead of one. Vampires can drain life from an adjacent piece, deal dealing less damage but healing themselves in exchange. Necromancers can summon a zombie. This is the dumbest fucking thing ever. I'm skipping it. Yes, I'm skipping the fucking war game. I don't want to play that sh a board game. What the fuck? How stupid. It's not to win! But you have earned the right to continue on your journey. You're right, I did. I skipped the fucking dumbass board game that some Japanese dude thought would be cool to put in the game. Nice! Very nice. 
very nice. We got both life and uh, shadow magic have been increased. Alright, cool. Up next, I'm sure I'll be fighting uh, the, the vampire the vampire queen, I guess. Let's see. Let's see what the next stage is. The refectory. What the fuck does that mean? What's a refectory? She has the body of an innocent child, yet the wits and cunning of a seasoned predator. She will kill Gabriel in a heartbeat if she could. Beautiful Laura, who was turned many centuries ago, has lived a lonely, cruel existence ever since. Gabriel will have to be very careful from now on, as he can be sure that her mother, the one who commands here, is now fully aware of his presence, huh. and that Laura herself still has some part to play in our tale. Interesting.